Hey everybody, this is Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing the second box of our three-part series of a mystery lot. We purchased this mystery lot from 888 Lots. It's a three-box lot. We got it for $136 with shipping for approximately 100 items. So that comes out to $45.33 per box. Not bad. Let's see if we can make any money off of this one. This is number two of a three-part series. I will link the other videos in the description below this one as soon as I get them all upla uploaded. As soon as I get them all uploaded. <laughs> all right, so for those of you that don't know, I sell on eBay. I buy liquidated merchandise, uh, mostly shelf pulls and overstock, and uh, get them for a good deal, and then I sell them on eBay for a profit. So, mostly new stuff. I don't do a lot of customer returns. Too risky, but a lot of new stuff. Whoa, and here's a lot of packing. So, that's always a good thing to see, though, because then that means that your items aren't getting jostled around and broken. So, that's always a plus. Okay, so on the top, I see plastic tubes. Okay. Plastic tubes that you can make your own chapstick and lotions and that kind of stuff. All right. Next we have a phone case. All right. That's actually a nicer one, so I might be able to get... It's actually a wallet book, so hmm, let's open it up. Oh, that is a nicer one. Okay. So we might be able to get 10 or 15 for this one. Next, we have magnetic dry erase markers. All right. That's probably worth 10 bucks, maybe 15. Um, next, we have Puerto Rico National Garden flag. Okay. And this one is Colombia National Garden flag. Okay. It's not worth too much money. Next we have a digital breath alcohol tester. Okay, so a digital alcohol breathalyzer thing, device. Yeah, I could probably get 10 bucks for this. Not worth a lot of money, but 10 bucks. All right, and I see some glasses down in here and they're not in containers. So I don't know if they'll be worth selling. This is probably gonna be a yard sale item. There's three pair of sunglasses, and these look like reading glasses. Yep, they are. So they're not in a container or anything. They probably have some scratches on them. I'll, this is yard sale stuff. Next we have... Okay, I don't know if y'all could see that. I'm not going to take those out of there. It's going to take too much time, but they're wine wings. It's a wine cooler bag. All right, and it looks like there's a couple of them in there. So that's cool. Magic drawing board 3D. So a 3D drawing board. Okay, that might be worth 15 bucks. If not, this is a yard sale item. So. Running belt. Okay, it's a running belt to hold your um, your cell phone. There's two of them in here. All right, so you can take your cell phone along with you. A cheap plastic air pump. That's yard sale. Let's see. Ooh, some earphones. Okay, depending on the name brand. I don't see a name brand, TWS. Okay, so these probably will sell for 15 to $20, depending on uh, what style it is. So that's not bad. Um, $15 for earbuds, that's not bad at all. So I recognize that name brand, I've gotten that before. Glass Pro screen protector for your Apple Watch. In Citus. Do-it-yourself kitchen sink set. Okay, that's for a dollhouse. 
a little do-it-to-yourself kit. All right, it's still sealed, so that might be worth 15 bucks. You never know, $20. Next we have hemp oil premium extract. Okay. Eh, that's no money. Next we have a Oh, a power bank. Okay. Took me a minute. Excuse me, folks. My allergies are really bad this afternoon. So a power bank, depending on the name brand. I don't know this name brand. It could be worth 10 bucks. It could be worth 30. It just depends on the name brand with this kind of stuff. So there we go. Oh, cell phone case. Cell phone case. Cell phone case. Cell phone case. A lot of this stuff is fillers. Um, you get used to it when you do this kind of business. Cell phone cases, they don't go for a lot. So again, I will probably take everything that I find in these boxes and put them together in a group and sell them that way. And if they don't sell, then I donate them. This looks like a key to an industrial door. I've had these before, uh, five to $10, depending on what kind of key it is. Universal valve, that can't be worth much. Universal valve, no clue. Doesn't have a tag on it, no clue. Something metal, because it's pretty heavy. I don't know, I have to do some research on that. Ski gloves, black, extra large. Ooh, those might be worth some money, depending on the name brand. And it doesn't have a name brand. So probably, I don't know, maybe $15, maybe 20. We'll see. Ski gloves, extra large. Western civilization, a booklet. Okay, that's worth nothing. That's yard sale. Someone might find that interesting. All right. Hibali. Women's fashion coin purse. And the bag is hanging open. So let's see what this is. Women's fashion coin purse. Oh. Came in a nice bag. That is a nice bag. Oh, I'd say that's more than a coin purse. Oh, it's got that in there. Oh, it's a nice tote. It's really nice. It's Habala. Habala. So it stinks. That's what was smelling in the box. So nice tote bag, though. I don't know, maybe 10, 15 bucks. All right. It's got that petroleum smell to it. Woo! We are down to a couple of things left. We have Bits and Fire headphones, version 4.0. Noise canceling headphones. Yep, wireless. Okay, I don't know that name brand, but they might be worth a few bucks. Maybe 20 bucks? I don't know, 30? We'll find out. Nice. And down here in the bottom, wow, okay, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of these. I got excited because I thought they were Ikea, but they're not Ikea. If they were Ikea, they would be marked Ikea. They would have like Ikea on the handles, but... They are Ikea-like bags. So I'm sure y'all know what I'm talking about, the 20-gallon the big giant bags. Yeah, to carry your laundry and stuff in. So yeah, these might be worth something if I group them all together, we'll see. But there was seven of them. So, and I have two more items besides those. I'm not gonna pull all those bags out. Um, we don't have enough room on our table here. Ooh, 
HP F330S car camcorder. Huh. That might be worth some money and it's still sealed. I don't know if you could see that plastic, but I'm trying to show you that it's still sealed. Um, the box is a little bit beat up, but still sealed. That might be worth some money. I don't know. Ooh, that could be worth money. Ooh. All right, that's exciting. And then there's one more. Oh, Nikon SU800. Wireless Speed Light Commander. Oh my goodness. This might be worth some money, but uh, the box is pretty beat up and I would, I would have to make sure that everything is in there. Open it up and make sure that everything is in there. But hey, that's a nice last item to pull out. And as you can see, folks, it's just those bags left in there at the bottom. I'm not going to pull them out. So, all right. So, wow, that was exciting to, to find this and this. They might be actually worth some money. So, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to go find out how much I think I can get out of all of this. And I'll be right back to let you know. See hey, you folks, we're back. So, I just went and I figured out how much that I think I can get from all of this stuff. And I made some notes here. So the HP, the HP camcorder, it, this is the cheaper model. So um, $25 still, it's $25, cheap model. Um, the headphones, I can get $25 for, so that's not bad. Um, this I can get $15 for, so that's not bad. And then the big surprise, okay, so the big good thing out of this box was the Nikon equipment. 130 to 180 is what they're going for. We're looking at about $315, I figure, for all of this stuff. $315 to sell it. If you take off $45 for the box that we paid, our potential profit for this box is $270. For a $45 investment to get back $270, that is really really good. Thanks for watching and we'll see you for box number three. Bye!